Uh, the Toronto Design Offsite Festival is an expiring indie festival of exhibitions and events happening across the city of Toronto during January. Formed by an association of several offsite shows, all of our events and exhibitions feature and promote the best in new Canadian practices. To Do happens during Toronto Design Week and is con committed to promoting top notch exhibition and events using our website, printed maps, social media an iPhone app to provide the public with up-to-date information. This way, ToDo also operates as a resource and guide for accessing great art and design. Um, in 2010, ToDo was founded by the organizers of four independent exhibitions, and as a self-funded, volunteer-based organization, ToDo 2012 was produced by three people and supported by a steering committee of seven. We value collaboration and community and want to see the festival grow. So, in our first year, we had five participating events and exhibitions, and this year, we had 19 happenings across downtown Toronto. In addition to... In independently produced shows and new work at local galleries. We also had exhibitions at museums such as Design Exchange and MOCA, and at institutions such as Ryerson University and George Brown College. So here's an overview, including uh, Petra Kucha, uh last month, uh, which launched uh, To Do. This is um, an experimental design center and gallery called Workshop, and they launched their newly renovated space with this exhibition, Stitches, that paired um, handcrafted Suhu embroidery from China with six contemporary works that employ new technologies, processes, and materials. At G Gallery, Sediment presented artist books and book works in custom support structures. It explored the range, conditions, and actualization of support, how words contain and transmit meaning, how a text is shaped and adopted by particular format, and how form and materiality contribute to the framing of experience. So this is Losing Parkdale at the OCC, and it was a celebration joining material and mind in the context of upheaval and resettlement. Focused on Parkdale as a community of woodworking talent, it showcased a few of many craftspeople that have made their living in this neighborhood of Toronto and are currently being displaced by condo development and other types of uh, gentrification. Design with Dialogue, which you can see uh, on the left, is a Toronto-based community... That's so much better. <laughs> community practice that develops leadership in co-creating positive social change. This workshop hosted at the Design Exchange engaged participants in envisioning multiple personal futures in a group collaboration. So unlike uh, some shows where attendees observe not fork chops, um, invited their audience to participate, giving them the opportunity to vote for their favorite designs. And a similar thing was happening over at Ideatious, um, an innovative platform that brings together buyers and creators in a rewarding low-risk community. As our last presenter mentioned, Associate asked 15 designers to create two or more unique objects that have a correlated character. The idea was to create things that are more than copies or sets, allowing the audience to consider the relationships the objects have with each other. Associates mark the third year that a group of self-organizer designers come together. Uh, now in its second year, Capacity is an annual show of new work by female Canadian designers. The exhibition featured a wide range of media, ceramic, textile, furniture, product design, illustration, and more, that examined and expressed the word capacity as it relates to the role of women in the field of design. Bridging several art and design disciplines and fueled exclusively by New York, Come Up To My Room is in the, it's the ninth year at the Gladstone Hotel. The, this immersive and installation-based exhibition featured 11 rooms and 14 public space installation, design talks, and curatorial tools that literally took over the second floor of the Gladstone Hotel. So do design along uh, the stretch of uh, Dundas Street West, just east of here, uh, brought together contemporary design works from over 30 individuals working across many disciplines in a free four-day event along uh, Dundas. The communal aspect of the event allowed for variety and discovery of the works presented in a surprising array of venues. A variety of designers' approaches to making are highlighted along with their individual responses in Ra Radiant Dark, an exhibition produced and curated by the owners of the Canadian design product retailer Mate. The details and challenges in the designers' exploration of process and the introduction of a curious element affected the way objects were made and understood. 
The Institute Without Boundaries is a postgraduate program at George Brown College that brings together design thinkers from diverse backgrounds working collaboratively. And so their open house featured their uh, current city systems project. And on the right is Lumen Drop by the Ryerson School of Interior Design. Um, and they are interested in exploring um, what it means to be transformative in design today. This temporary installation at furniture retailer Domison presented the works of cutting-edge designers from two cultural capitals, Toronto and Montreal. To create dialogues between these cities, Moto at Domison was an exhibition celebrating the design talents of both design hubs. Uh, public Displays of Affection for Forty Oaks was an exhibition of over 100 pieces of sustainable, one-of-a-kind furniture, lighting, installations, donated and created for a community in need by local designers and community members and all of the furniture um, stays at Forty Oaks. Okay, we're almost there. Let's talk. The latest collection launched by Castor Design was showcased at, Ca at the Castor Design Party. The six feature pieces focused mainly on lighting and furniture. The idea behind that stock was to repurpose existing parts from products that are no longer in production and make new design from them. Uh, Toronto Design Offsite teamed up with Good Fucking Design Advice to deliver festival advice this year. These online um, banners campaigns were uh, designed by Brian Berg and Jason Bacher, the principals of GFDA, and their motto is, because sometimes being your own worst critic is not enough, and we concur. Right. Okay, what's next? Beyond growing to do within the city, we want to bring designers from across Canada to Toronto and continue to uphold and build on these exciting and innovative exhibition and events that are integral to the, uh, to the success and livelihood of this festival and support the creative people that are part of it. So maybe uh, you'll join to do next year. Yay.